there's one other thing, um, the difficulty in, in regard to this piece, um, and we have descending phrases, and um, for the lower voices, um, sometimes if I give you this key, as you can see, this book here is, is uh, probably the one I, I bought when I was um, a student and very, very young. Um, so it has been with me many, many years, and I started out singing it in the lower key. So um, this first phrase for the lower voices sometimes can be very difficult uh, because you're trying to negotiate um, starting out and going down into the chest voice again. Uh, so if we could demonstrate that. There you see, when you have to sustain a phrase that's going down lower, sometimes young singers have difficulty with the breathing. So what I would suggest to you to do was to, when you start learning this area, to actually mark in the breaths that you're going to take, plan them out, and make sure that you always take the breath in the same place. Um, so that, that when you're practicing, it becomes so ingrained. We're going to do that again just so that they know that they have this quite difficult phrase that's going down really low. We want to maintain connection with the head voice um, so we don't separate the sound. That's not what we're looking for. We want, we want you to keep that sound as if it's going up, not going down. So we'll do that again. <coughs> So it will take a little bit of um, practice, but what you want to see, uh, and you can actually you know, indicate to the student that even though those notes are going down and they're quite low, we want to actually try and keep them going up all the time. So that's going to be quite useful. So seeing the phrases as if they're going somewhere higher. Can we try that whole piece? <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you very much for watching. Um, wishing everybody a huge toy, toy, toy from me. Um, for more videos and information, visit the RIAM Teaching and Learning Network website. Thank you. Bye.